You know, that's my job now. Watch that's why this. I take that time away to, you know, become Y'all a Y'all see John Morant? That boy me for <laughs> Not these us. You're not that big, bro. Ain't no way, bro. <laughs> Ain't no way. So everybody see, really can. This man, know, John see. Morant, bro. This man, John Morant, did not learn, bro. Are you? How did you not learn from that, bro? Who Ja really is? This man was literally on the live before he did. He literally already knew he was on live when he did that. Listen, you know what he's about. I am shocked. Ten days in rehab didn't completely change Ja. Like, hey, hey, TD, yeah, I'm good. Like, um, I'm good. I'm good. I'm Been God. doing, you know, reeky treatment. Reeky treatment doesn't work. I thought the apology was genuine. I mean, apparently rehab in Florida was just for show. To he he was just on a vacation in Florida. To get bro. back a Powerade endorsement. My entire world. That bro, this man Kyrie Irving lost an endorsement for way less, bro. He lost that Nike deal for way less than what Jaw has done, bro. He shook. Turns out his interview with Jalen Rose was like when I would get in trouble with my parents. Yeah, it was dumb. It was. I know it was dumb. I have learned a lot. Can I have my car keys back? So Ja gets exactly. caught on IG Live again with a gun with the same friend who he's been in trouble with. He already knew he was on IG Live and he still flashed that shit, bro. Every time. It's hard to remember all the drama at this He literally got... He literally was shown on IG Live a few seconds before that he knew he what he was doing, bro. This man knew what he was doing. There was only 100 viewers in the live. I'm shocked it got recorded. Jesus Christ. It just got recorded because it was Ja Morant, bro. Point. But Ja is being sued by a high school kid for a fight where he and that same buddy, Devontae Pack, punched the kid in the head. Yeah. Then he said Ja went in his house and came out. Yes, this man Ja literally pointed a gun at a 17 year old, bro. With a gun. Devontae <sighs> Pack was banned from going to games in Memphis because he stepped onto the court to confront Pacers players. What? Who does he think he is? Then the Pacers nah. say a red laser was pointed at them from a car Ja was riding in. Now, the NBA could not prove it was a weapon. But Ja flashed a gun while drunk on IG Live uh. at a strip club in Denver. So the Grizzlies suspended him, and he went to treatment for 10 days. I have been to treatment. 10 days ain't doing anything. Ja They're keeps not. making the same shit. mistakes. But I don't blame his buddy, Devontae Pack. This is on Ja. That's the homie Devontae Pack who got banned from from going to games people will say oh well Devonte in the car pointed the camera at jaw while he was holding a gun and yes he no but like he or uh, jaw already knew he was on ig live though turn the camera away immediately but why is jaw riding around with a gun the reason is he's immature he wants to show everyone how gangster he is which is why you go on IG Live to begin with, to show off to people. But why would he do this when you have millions of dollars and millions of people looking up to you? Why would you throw- No, no, I see why you would have a gun on you, bro. And shit. Because you fuck, bro. You never know. And, it, you know, and have your gun license and shit, bro, and all that, bro. But, like, why the fuck are you flashing that shit on IG Live, bro? <laughs> You already knew you were on IG Live, bro. You already knew that you were on it. And, oh my God. Throw it away. Well, something Patrick Beverly said last time this happened stuck with me. It's just a product of what we listen to. You know what I'm saying? So, like, with the coach. He, al he always does that shit when he was li listening to Young Boy, bro. That's when he does that. He does that shit. Bro, the first time I think he was listening to Young Boy, the second time he was listening to Young Boy, bro. I was shoot him up, bang, 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 shoot him up. I mean, that's what the. Hey, shout out to the four viewers. You know, the generation is. I, sadly to say, it shouldn't be based on our music, but it is mostly based on what we listen to, and that's how it is. And I know it sounds lame, but once again, Jaw is riding around with a gun singing to his favorite rapper. Is that a coincidence? No. It's a bird is at my city, yeah. I know firsthand how influential music can be when you're. I actually don't like Youngboy. I actually do not like Youngboy's music. I do not understand all his stands, bro, and all that shit. I do not like. Youngboy just be saying, bro, I, I don't even know, bro. I do not like Youngboy's music for real. Young. You're still trying to figure out who you are as a person. And you hear something that sounds cool. Oh, maybe that's who I am. I have tons of friends who got into shady stuff because it was cool. And some of them didn't get to grow up because they either died or went to jail. But the problem is not music or his friends or even his parents. 
you get one free pass in life. The first big mistake is like, oh, you didn't know, you'll learn. But the next time that mistake happens, it's on you now. That's why I'm amazed. That he did the first time he did it, you know, that's true, bro. The first time he did it, he was on a solo, on solo ID Live. This was him recording himself with the gun, right? And flashing that shit, you know, in the, in the club or whatever. That was him flashing that shit. So, you know, it's all right. You know, he learned. He went to therapy, you know, for 10 days. And that was, you know what I'm saying? And uh, then after now, bro, like this second time, bro, like he knew he was on IG Live and shit. It was his homie. Who pointed, pointed at him, bro? He pointed for half a second. He realized, bro, like, that man had a gun, you know, on him. And was flashing that shit again, bro. That guys like LeBron or Zion or Cade Cunningham can come into the league as a top pick with all the media attention and not get in trouble from day one. I would never have been able to do that at that age. But maturity is a skill in pro sports, just like shooting threes. And John needs to work on both. But I really feel for the Memphis Grizzlies. Whoa! Did this <laughs> just... <laughs> Wait, let me, let me hear this again. I'm kind of zoned that out. At that age. But maturity is a skill in pro sports. Just like shooting threes. <laughs> and John... This man, hey, um, this man just took the, sh the chance to take a shot at Jaws fucking game, bro. John needs to work. Nah, John, <laughs> John do need to work a little bit on this three-point game, but. <laughs> work on both. But I really feel for the Memphis Grizzlies. I mean, they have suspended Jaw right now in the. Ah, uh, bro, I feel bad. They're dealing with Dylan Brooks' ass, and now they got to deal with, deal with this Jaw shit again, bro. Obviously, Dylan Brooks, they said he was not coming back on any circum under any circumstances, which is kind of crazy. Off season, so, no, the gonna, NBA has invested. Now they have to deal with Jaws shit during the off season, and I hear that they're saying that he's gonna get a lengthy suspension this time. But are they gonna cut him from the team? No, no, they're not cutting him from. The There's no way. Oh my gosh, if he does, Lakers pick him up in a heartbeat. No, the number one rule in oh, sports is say. as long as you can win games, you'll always get another chance. Oh, There's yeah. a Hall of Fame football coach named games. Jimmy Johnson who said if a backup player fell asleep during a team film session, that kid would get fired. GGs. But if the star quarterback fell asleep, they would wake him up and say, hey, sorry, it seems like you fell asleep. We're watching film. Ja. Yeah, bro, it is. It is hard. Hey, bro, DDoS said there's too many immature people in professional sports, and it's hard to look up to pl professional players. It really is, bro. It really is hard to look up to these professional players right now, bro. It really is. It really is, man. But John Murray is, is maturing just like everybody else, bro. Is that star quarterback? And no matter what the Grizzlies say right now about how disappointed they are, there's nothing they can really... Even though he has it all, you know what I'm saying? This man was this man this man was from the suburbs. Now you know, like what I'm like, bro. And he's claiming like he's from the streets. Like what I'm saying, I'm from a good neighborhood and shit. I'm from a good neighborhood and shit. I didn't. I don't act like this. Come on, man. Like why would you want to go to that lifestyle, bro? Do they just have to hope that their franchise player stops being an idiot? Now before we get uh, into what happens next, the best comparison. Bunch of kids looking up to John. The image he puts out for himself is bad. Yeah, bro. It's, it's, it's bad. It's not good, bro. It's not an image you want to look up to, bro. Isn't actually in the NBA. Because I tried to find, like, a young franchise player who ruined his career like this. But the best comp is in the NFL. The nightmare story of Plaxico Burris. This is Plaxico what... Plaxico Burris. I think I've heard the mini stories about Everyone this. is afraid will happen to Ja. Burris was one of the best receivers in the NFL, but he started to have behavior problems. He once got suspended for slapping a ref in the face. Dude! In 2007, he broke a bone in his foot before week two, but instead of getting surgery, played through the pain. Didn't even practice. He would just show up on game day and ball out. Dude had his best season ever with 12 touchdowns. Stepped up to win the conference finals. Caught the Super Bowl winning touchdown. That's how good this yeah. dude was. Like John Morant level good. talent. But yeah. then yeah. something happened that ruined his career. He went clubbing on a Friday night with a gun during the season. 
As he's walking in, Plax feels the gun start to slip down his waistband. So he reaches down quick to grab it, and it goes off, shooting him in the oh leg. Oh my gosh. Well, that's obviously worse than what Jaw did. Way worse. What's fuck. crazy is nobody noticed in the loud club. And he actually could have just played this off because he was already out with another injury. But somebody reported it to the police, oh and he God. got sent to jail for two oh years. My the God. gun wasn't ready. Snitch. No, registered no. in New York and was actually expired anyway. He was on top of his game, but missed the birth of his daughter locked in a cell. You know, I'll just be, you know, uh, yeah. taking away. Right. Uh, you can oh, he was actually on the show when this happened. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be emotional as fuck. He already talked about John shit. Oh, that's can just crazy. The taint or what, whatever your legacy may be. And I just, if I was just telling him, you know, just. If I was speaking to him, yeah. it would just be, you know, you can't learn anything, man. Just learn from me. So now everyone is looking at Commissioner Adam Silver. He has a reputation for being soft on players. And he, he stuck he his neck soft. out last time. I mean, there were so many rumors. Would Jaw be suspended, like, for the playoffs? Instead, he only got eight games. If David he Stern did. was still commissioner, Jaw would already know how bad things can get. But what is Silver yeah. going to do? I mean, does Ja get suspended half a year, the full year? Does his Nike sponsorship go away? Kyrie's would already been gone, bro. Like, what? Everything he built can be taken away in two seconds until it's gone. Exactly, bro. It could get taken away so quick. But Ja Morant obviously is not going to jail for flashing a gun or some shit. You know, it's not like shooting yourself and shit. But, like, bro... Yes, he's going to get suspended for a bit, but he's still going to be John Moran. He's still going to be able to Wait. fucking play the way he is, bro. He's going to be a great NBA player, bro. He's going to come back, and he's going to be better. He's going to be fucking good as fuck, bro. Like, is he's still going to be John fucking Moran, bro. I mean, he already... <laughs> like, it's kind of crazy. He lost $39 million, he million. Dollars by not making All-NBA in his... Yeah, he did, because he's not a... He wasn't a max. He wasn't a, a max player, so he's not gonna get super max anymore because he didn't make all NBA. And you know, obviously, you're gonna make all NBA to be able to get that super max shit. So. Grizzlies contract. Yeah. You know, last incident had something to do with that. You lose thirty nine million, have your reputation tarnished, and still flash a gun on IG Life. What is it gonna take? A Plaxico Burris situation? I hope not, yeah. because Ja is one of the most fun players to watch actually seems like a good kid everyone else gets to grow up out of the spotlight and make mistakes but this is what comes with being a rich and famous pro athlete does jaw actually want to be that i know this might sound controversial but i don't know if rehab is actually what jaw needs maybe i'm wrong but it seems like he just needs to grow up and take personal responsibility is this a stress thing or does he need to have a wake-up call? A moment of clarity where he sees what everyone else sees. He's got the NBA dream, but could throw it away for nothing. People like to throw his dad under the bus, but I think the only mistake would be not having an intervention at this point. I hate making these types of videos. What I love to make are actual videos about basketball. And right now, with the Golden State Warriors going out, there are so many yes. rumors coming out every day and apparently a big time warrior could get traded so oh. I made a video bring the entire okay this is my prediction about that situation multiple warriors players are getting traded not jordan Poole. he's too young clay you gotta move you gotta move off clay and dream one bro you gotta move off him you gotta move off clay at least bro clay's gotta go clay's gotta go Clay played too terribly. He had one of the po worst postseasons I've seen ever. Ever, bro. He was so ass. He maybe had one good game. He had one good game for sure. I know that. Clay's got to fucking go. Helping my boy. Yeah, he's getting that LeBron treatment, bro. He's getting what Braun was getting when Curry was playing him with KD and fucking that fucking unfair ice team. Except this is worse. I mean, this isn't worse. LeBron, what LeBron situation was worse. But this situation's pretty bad too. Curry still got some solid players. I guess Andrew Wiggins is the second best player right now, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Nah, th th this is this is some craziness, bro. Like, yeah, players are gonna go. I don't know about Clay. Clay's gotta go, bro. Clay's gotta go.
Clay's got to go, bro. He can. He's not. It's either that or he's got to take a crazy pay cut. But I don't even know if he takes a crazy pay cut. That's enough, bro. I don't even know if that's enough. That's how bad of a playoff run he's had. That's how bad of a playoff run he had. This man was just hucking up shots. I think in the, the elimination game, uh, game six, he shot three and nineteen. I was like, bro, you gotta go. You gotta go. Curry, Curry, bro, Curry was was shooting terrible from the three point line, but at the same time, this man was fucking uh, facilitating so well. Like this man was making some insane passes. I was like, bro, this man Curry's still him, bro. Like this man, this man Curry was impacting the game in different ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. But I got.